Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So today I'm going to explain you a uh, answer to one of my questions. So it is a 28 year old female brought to you with complaints of lethargy and uh, decreased tolerance to cold. She has been gaining weight despite on weight management program. Her T3 and T4 levels are below normal range. She is not on any medications or special diet for her problem. Which one of the following biochemical changes do you expect to see in this patient? So overall, if you look at the patient's uh, clinical uh, history that is given and also the laboratory values, say patient is clearly has hypoparathyroidism. Hypoparathyroidism. So in hypoparathyroidism, there is a decreased levels of T3 and T4 and there is increase in TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone. Now the question, the choices that are given are, are related to metabolic pathways. So let's find out which is the correct answer. In order to know the correct answer, first you need to know what is the effect of T3, T4 on metabolism. Although T3-T4 has numerous uh, metabolic effects and on a uh, variety of uh, subcellular organelles, so let's restrict our, since it's a big and huge topic, so let's restrict ourselves the effect of T3-T4 on the electron transport chain. So T3-T4, T3 and T4, they act as uncouplers of electron transport chain, uncouplers means they are going to uncouple electron transport from phosphorylation process. Where exactly uncoupling action of T3-T4 goes? So there are again uh, many uh, theories and hypotheses that have been postulated that T3-T4 at different levels they can act as uncoupler including ATP, ADP, antiport system. Anyway, overall they have an uncoupling mechanism. So what happens in uncoupling? So during uncoupling process there are more protons are leaked from intermembrane space into the matrix of mitochondria. Because of this continuous leakage of protons from intermembrane space to the matrix of mitochondria, so there will be decrease in the proton gradient, decrease in proton motive force. This proton gradient which has to be built in the intermembrane space and that will be decreased if there is a T3 and T4. Now with this and when there is a decrease in the proton motive force so there will be decrease in the activity of ATP synthase. ATP synthase is the protein which will help in the phosphorylation of ADP with PI to make ATP and that needs proton motive force. When there is decrease in proton motive force, decrease in the activity of ATP synthase it means there will be decrease in overall ATP synthesis. This is what is the function of T3-T4. Now, with this background, let's see what happens in hypothyroidism. So, as it is given in the case stem, hypothyroidism, so patient is having low levels of T3 and T4. So, when there is a decrease in T3-T4, so it means what will happen to the uncoupling action of T3-T4? Uncoupling action of T3-T4 will also decrease because there is a decrease in T3-T4. When the uncoupling action is decreased, so what will happen to the proton motive force? Now the leakage is decreased because T3-T4 decreased, uncoupling action decreased. It means the leakage of protons from intermembrane space to the matrix will also be decreased accordingly. Because of this what happens, proton motive force is relatively increased. When there is an increase in the proton motive force, it means there are plenty of proton motive force or the gradient that is available for ATP synthase to work. So that will lead to effective functioning of ATP synthase. So when there is an effective functioning of ATP synthase, so the ATPs are synthesized much more efficiently than other condition. Okay, so that is why decrease in T3-T4, it will basically make your electron transport chain to work efficiently so that is why option C here so increased efficiency of our electron transport chain seems to be a correct answer why because uncoupling action is not there now or decreased so proton motive force is increased 
that will lead to a efficient activity of ATP synthase and efficient uh, formation of ATPs. Okay, let's see why other choices are wrong. Now the option A says increase in rate of glycolysis. Now note that when there is a decrease in T3, T4, so as we all know in hypothyroidism there is a decrease in the basal metabolic rate. So what is this basal metabolic rate and why it decreases? So since there is an efficient functioning of electron transport chain here, it means because there is a more proton motive force is formed because leakage is not there. It means even with the less food, person is a means hypothyroid patient is able to make more ATPs. So it means he, he need not, he or she need not have basal metabolic rate really at high levels because even with the less food, they are able to make more ATPs because the electron transport chain efficiency is increased. It means it is all about efficiency of your car engine. So if your car engine is more efficient, it's going to run for a long distance with the less fuel. If the car engine is less efficient, so it is going, it's going to need more fuel to run the same distance. It's the same concept here. So it means your electron transport chain is more efficient. So it means it is going to make more ATPs now. Now how it is going to affect your rate of glycolysis? Now the rate of glycolysis in fact it will be decreased. Why it will be decreased? Because your electron transport chain it will be saturated when it is becoming efficient. So it is going to produce more ATPs with the less amount of food. It's going, unless the person is spending it so electron transport chain will be running at saturated level. It means NADH will accumulate and that will lead to low levels of NAD plus because NADH is accumulated. So less NAD plus means in one of, in the glycolysis glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme needs NAD plus. So short shortage of NAD plus so will lead to decrease in glycolysis especially at glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. So option A saying increase in glycolysis is wrong. Uh, there will be overall decrease in glycolysis. Now option B says increase in rate of TCA cycle. Same concept here. So when the electron transport chain is running at a saturated state, so overall there will be plenty of NADH and less NAD plus and also less FADs. Now when there is a less FAD and less NAD, so as you all know TCA cycle, one of the requirement for that is you need to have plenty of NADs, plenty of FADs, so that they are reduced to NADH plus H plus and FADH2. Now in the decrease availability of FAD and NAD, TCA cycle will also slow down. Okay, now increase in our body temperature. So that is, so B is wrong there. So now option D, option D says increase in our body temperature. So why, so why it is wrong? So as you can see here in hypothyroidism, so T3, T4 acting base, basically there F, uh, uncoupling action is decreased and also note that what these uncouplers does normally is whenever there is a leakage of protons when the protons are leaking from intermembrane space to the mitochondrial matrix without going through ATP synthase whatever the energy that is there in the proton it will be not not captured to make ATP so it will be basically wasted so energy in the proton is wasted and that will be released as heat it means more uncoupling action you get higher body temperature less uncoupling action lower body temperature so that is what is the that is why hypothyroid patients they will have lower body temperature compared to hyperthyroid patient where they will have higher body temperature because of the more uncoupling action so this is a case of hypothyroidism so it has they will have less uncoupling action of t34 so their body temperature will be in fact decreased not increased so option d is incorrect now let's move on to see option e option e says increase in our basal metabolic rate so as you are seeing here from option a and option b that i have said there will be decrease in glycolysis decrease in tca cycle there is a efficient electron transport chain running so with less food they are able to make more atp so there is no need of increase in basal metabolic rate. In fact, hypothyroid patients, they allow decreased basal metabolic rate, so not increased basal metabolic rate. So because, so need of the, uh, running this intermediary metabolism is not that much because electron transport chain is efficient. 
so their overall basal metabolic rate decreases okay let me collect connect something to the tca cycle here when the tca cycle rate decreases so they are going to, they will be increase in overall citrate level in the mitochondrial matrix and this citrate it will move out of mitochondria into the cytoplasm we have citrate transporter and in the cytoplasm citrate is broken down into acetyl coa and oxaloacetate and acetyl coa it will be diverted into fatty acid synthesis and this fatty acid uh, fatty acids can be incorporated with glycerol to make triacyl glycerol that is why hypothyroid patients will have more triacyl glycerol and that is the reason why, one of the reason i am not saying this is the only reason this is the one of the reason why hypothyroid patients will be overweight as it is given in the case stem she has been gaining weight despite on weight maintenance program so why she is gaining weight because t3 t4 less uncoupling action is not there electron transport chain is becoming effi became efficient here metabolism came down but tca cycle decreased so whatever the acetyl coa that has formed is now converted to citrate citrate is moving out into the cytoplasm and making fatty acid and cholesterol fatty acid combines with uh, glycerol to make triacyl glycerol cholesterol can combine with fatty acid to make cholesterol ester so there is increase in triglyceride increase in cholesterol ester and that will lead to lipid abnormality lipo abnormality in lipoprotein metabolism uh, even because t3 t4 will also have effect on certain enzymes in lipoprotein metabolism so overall there there will be abnormality in lipid metabolism okay so this is all something in brief about hypothyroidism uh, about this particular case thanks for watching i'll come up with some other video some other time till then cheers